Hey guys, I'm Lucas McFarlane, and this is my new vlog. Um, I will be documenting the process of creating my new show, The Suffocating Truth. I will be dropping a new video every week, kind of documenting how that week went, either in rehearsal or on tour. Um, it's going to be like an eight-part mini-series. So welcome to my vlog about creating The Suffocating Truth. So we've just touched down in Bristol, our last city on tour, and we're heading now to the hotel before classes later in which myself, Vicky, and Miss Kaylee Jean will be teaching at. <laughs> when in need of a light, just turn to glasses with lights. When you're in bed reading at night. What does it say? Costa! <laughs> Just turn on your glasses with lights. I love when I've seen that. Look at these light up glasses. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so, our workshops are once again at Hogwarts. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> but apparently, we are like attracting. Hogwarts brand like buildings. Uh, the people who go to this school, 1527, are very lucky, are they not, Ricky? They are very lucky. 1532. <laughs> <laughs> I said 1922. <laughs> that was an ode to Christy. Shout out on Quartz. <laughs> Dance company. Theater company. Whatever. What else? I do have to head out to potions after this, so I'm going to probably leave about 15 minutes early. And then we have, we have trans Transfiguration later, so yeah. Can't that important, that, up. you know, those OWLs, yeah. super important. Okay, bye, we're going to dance now. Let's pretend we're dancing in the street, in Barcelona. And then it was that time again, setting up this incredible venue in order for it to feel like the suffocating truth belonged here. Further than I've been before, making me stronger, shaking me right to the core. Oh, I'm gonna make that pose. Yes, yes. The wall, it looks like we're in a coliseum, right? Okay. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Let's extend it. <laughs> we can sell the tickets, guys. Same Bristol selling. Let's stay for another week. The feathers have survived. They have survived. Quite nicely, although they're starting, they're starting to. Barely. They're making, surviving. They're making in interesting shapes. <laughs> no. Oh yeah. I'm like, mm. They're getting, it's like a bird that's been like ravaged. Hold it. And what do we do with this? Just we're unfurl just gonna, it? We're just gonna comb <laughs> it out. Okay. We just comb it out with our hands? <laughs> yep. That's fine. How's that going? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it, it will It'll be straighten. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. It was surreal that this was the last place we were going to perform the show. 
I think all of us really wanted to give the audience the best show that we had performed yet and really make this one count. But we were also going to enjoy the hell out of our last stop on tour. I mean, I thought that was the plan. I guess Thor is just hard to please. <laughs> Happy just not even our birthday at all. So we've just had a great meal at our new favorite restaurant, Osteria. Now we're off to home for bed. I'm excited for tomorrow because it went so well today and the venue is amazing and yeah, it's going to be a great show. I feel like people just went the wrong way. <laughs> Why did you all go that way? That was smart. Why would you ever follow Sasha? That is probably one of the silliest mistakes she'll make, Thor. What does it say, Amy? You want me to read it? Yeah. I mean, can you all read? Um, <laughs> Lucas McFarlane presents Untitled Dance Company in The Suffocating Truth at ah! Home Court 7.30 Friday, 3rd of March 2017. Ah, there it is! There it is. I think one of the most exciting things for all of us were these really incredible high up balconies that we were going to get to utilize. They kind of looked over the entire audience in this coliseum like venue that we were in. So at first we decided to figure out the logistics of how that was going to work as there was some minor roadblocks in order to have them be functional. inside the curtain every time close it behind you and then when you leave you have to not too much whoops just don't push it too much that's fine The main challenge of the balconies was that they were pretty far away from the main space. And so Ricky was excited to show us how he was going to get there in a very, very short amount of time. Oh my god, this door What? I love doing that. Where is he? Oh my god, Ricky. You're like a little frog. Amy, run faster. <laughs> I guess you could say the excitement was starting to become overwhelming and may have come out in a few impromptu dance numbers in the change room. <laughs> And then it was showtime on Friday. We were really excited because this venue really felt special. But after this one, we were only going to have one more show left. I'm not going to lie, that made me pretty sad.
came from breakfast and Ricky reminded me that it's my last day of tour. It's the last day we'll do ever the show, The Suffocating Truth. It's the last day I'll be dancing with these guys. Um, and I just told him it hasn't hit me yet. So maybe it will eventually and I'll be an emotional wreck, but right now it hasn't at all. Denial much? So as Move It was coming up the weekend after Bristol, we decided to have a rehearsal in order to turn one of the numbers, Coward, to face front, as Move It obviously wouldn't be in the round, but we wanted to perform an excerpt from our recent show after the event, so we decided to use the time wisely. Wait, stop. I think I think because I'm in mind with Kaylee now, I will be. Because I, I want to like enjoy that more. Yes, yeah, there we go. I just know. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, ah! <laughs> you were like, wait, <laughs> wait. Yeah, I'm always over here. But uh, this shape, I'm gonna. Do one more time to get that set. Oh, much better, thank you. My best friend in the entire world, and company member, and just other half came to watch the Bristol shows. It was so good to have Julia there with me as this journey came to an end. Just having her energy in the room really made everything kind of feel more like home. Yeah, I love her a lot. I'll take it year by year Watching the dust go clear how does everyone feel? All afraid Good. To feel Ready? Sure. Excited? Oh. Are we excited? Yes. Nervous? Excited. Angry. I'm That's excited. <laughs> what is this? What's been your favorite things about the tour? The feathers. The feathers. <laughs> Deliver real. <laughs> okay, those are your two. Um, oh, the dancing. <laughs> Good dancing. What's been your favorite thing about tour? Mine was the Bants. Bants, the people. Oh, you uh, win. You guys are the lads. Story song, me in story song. <laughs> Deliveroo. Yeah. Deliveroo. No, the different venues. Ooh, the different places to hide. <laughs> okay. Mine's been eaten out a lot. Deliveroo. Mine's been all the instant oatmeal that I've had. <laughs> Every been morning. Trying to be a big baby by Katie. <laughs> so weird. No, I'm really good at it. Everybody enjoy your last show. Cry. Our last show was incredible. It was an experience I'll never forget. I was overcome with emotion and brought to tears. Just being surrounded by these incredible five dancers. The audience on their feet, my amazing team. It was truly one of the most incredible moments in my life. Like, I wish 
more people could be like, yeah, I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky. Eight weeks, 14 shows, five cities, 14 standing ovations, unfathomable amounts of laughter, copious amounts of tears, unmeasurable amounts of love. One lifelong dream come true. What a journey. What an unforgettable group of people. What an experience. One that I will never forget. <laughs>